Yo, what is up, guys? This is Oscar here, and this is gonna be my Real Madrid versus Villarreal post-game reaction and analysis video. So let's go ahead and let's go get into it. And um, zero zero draw. Uh, I expected as much. Now, there's a little backstory why I said I expected as much. I wasn't able to do a pre-game analysis uh, this past weekend or Friday or Saturday because I work uh, on full day uh, Friday. Um, and then yesterday morning, I had to run some errands as well for my job. So I wasn't able to do a pregame analysis, but I am doing a postgame analysis. Now, I was discussing it with my cousin. I'm like, yo, man, Villarreal is, is not a pushover team. They were able to get, what, like five, six draws in the first five, five draws or six draws in their first games against really good teams. And Real Madrid struggles in that first half so i had no faith in real madrid against the top a top team you know they 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 may be not top five they may not be top 10 you know they they could be top 10 i'm they are a top 10 team but you know they're always gonna have a tough time so real madrid that's what i said that's i was like it's gonna be a draw he's like no man why are you such a pessimist let it be a win i'm like no it's gonna be a draw zero zero so um, and, and that's what it was. It was, it was a 0-0 draw. He was upset with me. He was like, you've jinxed it. I was like, I'm just a realist, man. You know, I, I know the obvious. Real Madrid struggles in the first half. And then you're going in the second half. And that's one of these days is not going to be enough. And unfortunately for them, this is the game where it wasn't enough for them. They needed to be a little bit more, you know, pressing in that first half. And they weren't. You know, they didn't create opportunities in that first half. But they had a much better second half. Um, so, 0-0, zero, zero, uh, Karim Benzema had, you know, a few shots here and there, um, you know, Vinicius had a few shots here and there, uh, Asensio had a quiet game, you know, he, he was okay, he wasn't, you know, breaking any, or anything, you know, he wasn't that breakaway star that he was this Wednesday, but like I said, it, it is what it is there. Real Madrid has to get ready for their next Champions League matchup, which I think is against Shakhtar, if I'm not mistaken. I have to double check my my notes here um, later, but they have to get ready for that. And and you know Shakhtar, man, oh man, this 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 is a must win if it is Shakhtar. Cause Shakhtar swept Real Madrid last year, and that that cannot happen again this year. Um, you know, disappointing. Thibaut Courtois. Man of the match, in my opinion. David Alaba had a few key moments defensively. Um, the defense kept on getting burned throughout this game. Um, you know, they, they almost gave away big plays. There was a controversial call where Nacho, you know, there could have been given a penalty for Real Madrid. But I guess Nacho, they were arguing that Nacho made the foul. Good news is that, you know, they didn't award a penalty at Villarreal. So... Um, you know, that's going to be a talking point is penalty, no penalty, um, for Real Madrid or not. Um, like I said, debate if you will. I'm just going to say no, no drama here. It ended up 0-0 anyway. Who cares? Um, so, you know, th th that's my, you know, basic analysis. Like I said, Real Madrid taking on a top 10 team. And what do you expect, you know? I wasn't expecting for them to, to blow out or beat down um, Real. My cousin was like, 2-0, to zero, man, 2-0. to zero. I'm like, nah, it's going to be 0-0. Zero, zero. Or it's going to be a draw, I said. It was going to be a draw. It was going to be like a 1-1 one, one draw or something like that. That's what I said. It's going to be a 1-1 one, one draw. Um, and, you know, I did, I did get the draw part right, but I didn't get the score line right. Um, you know, Thibaut Courtois, man of the match. That's, you know, enough, you know, enough said. He had big time saves, you know, incredible saves. Because there were somehow, um, saves that where I was like, whoa. You know, that was really, like, he was, they were really, really close. Um, to scoring a goal. But Thibaut Courtois, or the ball, you know, they hit it too hard and it landed, like, uh, a t you know, past the net or something like that where... Um, they couldn't get any precision. So, 
Um, that is it for, for this video, guys. Really, there really isn't, an, an, you know, a lot to talk about. You know, Real Madrid get a point. They will still be in the La Liga, you know, first place with 17 points, which I is the best start that they've had since, I want to say, 2015, 2016, I think. Um, I have to double check my notes on that, but, you know, that that, that is the best start. That they've had in, in a good while, you know. And Ancelotti is the guy that, you know, 2013, 2014 had BBC on there. So, and with the talent that he has now, it's it's not the same. But still, you know, I, I, I'm impressed that Real Madrid, as of right now, as of the first seven games, are, you know, unbeaten. And, it's you know, have not lost a game and is at the top of the table. That is That is surprising to me. But alrighty guys, that'll do it for this video. If you're new to my channel, you like our Real Madrid content, make sure you hit that sub button. Until then guys, keep it real. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.